This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volner my back here with another episode of Our World Has Ended. And we're in the middle of a fast food fight, or flooded fight, meat, meat fight, or whatever. Yeah, the music kind of makes it almost sound like a, not quite a RPG battle, but kind of close. Because we're preparing for the barbecue and we couldn't get people to wear swimsuits. Oh well. And we failed a couple of soul selections back to back almost, which is kind of surprising we had so many back to back. But now we're in the market and we gotta get some sale on meat. And apparently... Natsumi-san said that older housewives love young men. I mean, yeah, some do. And some people, it's like how like older men like young women, you know? It's just, it just, I never expected a game to straight out say that housewives like young men, you know, like cougars or something like that, so. Reminds me, there used to be, I don't know if it's still up, there used to be a website, and yeah, I actually saw uh, advertisements on regular TV was like, it was like cougars.com, it was, was older women looking for young men. I was just like, man, that was... I mean, at the time I saw those, I was still old enough to understand. But it's one of those things you don't—you never expect to see the blatantness of it on TV. And it was—I don't even think it was that late at night when I saw them either. So, but anyway, uh, also uh, one little thing: my my who uh, the people's performance have changed slightly since last episode because it's now—it's uh, still a Sana Sana top one, probably because of that one date thing. Second is Wari San, but now it's third is Tatiana San. So it was either the Soul Selection with Natsumi San that lowered it, or or I got points for not saying anything with Tatiana. It's hard to say, but uh, but yeah, that's the current rankings now, at least in terms of according to the character in this game, by doing what I've done and not choosing any of the soul selections. But anyway, let's see if we can get that sale of meat. She says it with absolute certainty. If you don't count their sons, housewives almost never get to talk with men in their teens. Well, you're probably right. I imagine they're too busy with housework and child rearing. Well, I was about to say they can do other things, but if they're housewives, they're probably specifically focused on that, at least for a long periods of time, so... Depending on how many kids they have and stuff like that. That's why they want to be gentle with any young men they approach th that approach them. With that, well, it depends on that. Are the housewives happily married or not happily married and all this other stuff? Would that really, would that really work? I'm not all that handsome, you know. Don't worry. It's true that you look plainly average, but you don't incite any feelings of disgust either. Thanks. Also, you look like about as hopeless enough to rile up girls' motherly instincts, I think. You think. I can't tell if she's praising or making fun of me. How do I feel about this? And, anyway, come to the housewife that looks much like she has great power level. Go try to talk to her and get, take some meat for you. Got it? Uh, okay. My tone makes it pretty clear that I'm not all confident about this. Alright, go if you don't get the meat, I'll curse you. And soon we start pushing me onto the battlefield as the meat selection. The battlefield is already ridden with tough looking champions, the housewives. Like a Vegas or Orange County or They seem to use a, they seem used to limited time sales. Their eyes are shining and they're all staring at the meat, making them look like actual apex predators. Man, this is scary. They'll probably eat me if I make one wrong move. I can afford you. Phrasing, I can't bring myself to talk to them. However, if I don't start the Operation Borrowed Authority, I have no chance of winning. Not to mention that Natsumi-san will curse me. I gather my resolve and talk to the housewife at my side. E excuse me. What? I'm busy. Wait till this is over. Sorry. This gl th that glare was just mal malignant. Natsumi-san looks like this is just too much for me. Right as I was about to give up, a broad-looking housewife talks to me. Since she's the second one I encounter, I'll just name her Housewife B. Oh, you're after the beef selling too? Uh, yes! My, my, so, uh, if I'm trying to think of it, I'll just do the old woman voice for all of them. My, so young, yet so smart. How old are you, by the way? 18, you're 18, dude. Oh, I guess 18's in that good range where if you, uh, you know, had a relationship with Yuno or anyone, then it wouldn't be considered disgusting. But 18, 18, you're about as old as my son. And you already know that you have to save money. He can learn a thing or two from you. Uh, okay. As I talk to Housewife Beef, the sale begins. We are now starting the limited time sale for Beef Sirloin. Uh, looks like a study. Let's do our best. Uh, okay. Overwhelmed by the power, I had no time to get a housewife to get me some meat. I see an employee bringing the beef sirloin on a wagon. I have no choice but to try and get it myself. Gather my resolve, I dash into the battlefield. Do, 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 do. I could, oh, sorry. I couldn't do it. 
I'm the only one left at the meat section. Though I jumped into the battlefield, the housewife jostled me around, threw me out. I am completely defeated. Looks like I could get the meat. Well, like I said, I'm not paying. I mean, we're not paying for it. Or it's going to pay us back or something. Before I realized it, natsumi sans with me. You know, if he'd helped me, it would have. we would have done it. I have no excuse, Bear. Just, just apologize. Ah, you're still here. You're Housewife B! <laughs> it's a broad-looking housewife I talked to before the sale started. Whoops, I accidentally called her by name. I gave her. It doesn't look like you got the meat. I didn't. And now natsumi sans going to get mad at me. As a turn all gloomy, the housewife thinks for a moment and, and take this meat. Actually, she actually actually gives me a pack of beef sirloin. Eh? Are you sure I can have it? Don't you need it? It's fine. Don't worry. I took two packs. And see, you try so hard to get, uh, get it made me want to give it to you. You were told to get the meat by your wifey there, right? W wifey? Yeah, not gonna happen, bud. Not in this playthrough. I followed her gaze to find natsumi san Huh? Hehehe, <laughs> so that's why you're so serious. You're mad and your wife's pulling you around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Natsumi-san is a my... Uh, see, this is an encouragement from an experienced housewife. Bye. Yeah, when everyone wants to stick their nose in your relationship business. The broad-looking housewife gives us a meat pack and leaves, completely elated. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Natsumi-san and I do nothing but watch her leave. Dumbfounded. Let's get the other stuff. Good idea. Natsumi-san answers awkwardly. I expect her to say something like, I can't believe she she thought I was your wife. But she actually didn't say anything about it. As I consider my relief, we consider... Uh, yeah, uh, we continue shopping. Consider my relief? I haven't heard that before either. We went on to buy the food, paper dishes, and chopsticks. I took the heavy meat and stuff, and she took the lighter stuff. And now we're going back to the office. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Ever since the sale, the air between us were kind of awkward, and we only said what we had to. And I'd be like, huh, don't you think that was funny that the, she thought well, you were my wife? Oh, boy. And then, I don't want to take this awkwardness to the office, so I decided to say something. Um, it's a good thing we got everything we need, huh? I guess. Now all that's left is to skew everything away. True. I haven't been at a barbecue for more than 10 years now. I'm real excited about this. I see. Dot, dot, dot. This is barely a conversation. I feel so empty that I go straight for the core of the matter. Natsumi san, you're bothered by the what, what housewife, B, housewife B said, aren't you? Exclamation point. She stops in place. You didn't say anything, but you didn't like that, right? Well, I can't really blame you. A girl as beautiful as you and a guy as plain as me aren't a good match. Ah, me. A beautiful me. I do like goth girls, but I don't want... But like I said, I like the goth per I like the goth look, but I don't like a lot of Girth Girls personalities. So you know, definitely not her personality. Yeah. Also, look at your cl our clothes. You look completely on the mark. While just some mass-produced college student in a tees and a pants. A tees and pants. I don't know why I said in a pants. <laughs> if I stand a short distance behind you, people would probably think I'm your stalker or something. And you actually got mistaken for my wife. You have every right to be mad. Who says stuff like that in real life? You, I would have just made it funny like a joke. I'm like, ah, oh, that was funny. Uh, this is pure self-abuse, but I don't mind if she returns to her usual shelf. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not bad. I don't think we're uh, bad a match. She looks me in the eye. I don't see a hint of falsehood in her expression. Sorry for acting weird. It's the first time someone ever thought that I was a wife. What is it with certain characters that all of a sudden, if you if you think, talk about sex or talk about getting married, they just break down like a house of cards? You're like, what is wrong with you? Who acts like that? <laughs> anyway, I know it's light novel tendencies and tropes and stuff. Well, it's the first time someone thought I was a husband too. We're still young, so you think that the first thing they assume is that we're lovers or something? <laughs> lovers? Eh? I'm just talking in terms of so societal standards. I know, I know. It's not, to, uh, it's not about to, it's not about how we are. Right! She starts to panic, I get dragged into doing the same. We just reconcile this and now things are just ending up awkward again. How do I handle this? As I think, I remember something that happened a few hours ago. By the way, Natsumi-san, why did you decide to participate in the barbecue? I mean, you didn't even join Tatiana's welcome party. Both barbecue and welcome party had nothing to do with work. 
That's why I was worried that she wouldn't participate in this one too. Hi, dot dot dot. Natsumi san seemingly not sure how to respond looks down to the ground. She looks like she's about to say something though, so I just wait. Tick tock, tick tock. Just play the Jeopardy music. Do 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 and so she suddenly raises her hand head. I just felt like it. I had to go to the barbecue. Or a barbecue. I'm worried I just happened to say that we're having one. So I just took advantage and agreed to go. I see. I always thought the barbecue was pretty social. Uh, are pretty social events, though. They don't seem like something you'd like. I thought there's more to barbecues than that. I enjoy seeing sacrifices burnt. Barbecue's not bad, depending on where you go, though. Or what meat you buy. But then again, I'm not a connoisseur, and I, I don't particularly love barbecue either, though. I don't like getting my hands dirty and stuff like that, so... Uh, I see? She makes barbecue look like some ritual. Anyway, I'm glad you're participating. We finally have an event where all of J7 is participating. Well, that's true. She makes a faint smile. Now well, let's hurry back to the base. We still have not, not done preparing for the barbecue. Don't fall behind, Mr. Soccer. Yeah, thanks for that. Natsumi san starts walking with cheer in her step. I still don't know what kind of change of heart she had to decide to participate in a social gathering like a barbecue. Even so, I'm glad all of J7 could come together and have fun for once. Wait up! If you go on ahead, people will actually think that I am just a stalker. I catch up with her. Or to her. Whoa, that. I have, I have light the lights off in my room when I play this, so sometimes when it gets bright like that, it throws me off. We return to the office to cooperate with Yunusan and Asana-san, who are in charge of drinks, to prepare for the barbecue. Once done, we we just had to wait for the evening. Cool. Neat. Ah, different, different backdrop. You're doing something, game. Visual novel with different backdrops. Yay. You can't hear me clapping, but I'm clapping. We all gather on the rooftop. I thought it was a Warisan's penthouse on... Wait. Though it was a Warisan's penthouse on it, there's still lots of space here, so we'll have no problems holding a social event here. Haruka-san has already fired up the stove and is ready to cook the meat. Of course, the skewer meat and veggies are all ready to go, too. The plastic pool I prepared for Tatiana at noon is now full of ice and we're using it to cool down our canned drinks. Gross. We grab a drink we like and prepare to make a toast. All right, let's start J7's summer barbecue. We all raise our drinks, signaling the start of the barbecue. Hooray! Everyone's having fun. Ooh, a new CG art. Well, it looks like everyone's having fun. Except... Wait, Awari Sun's just... Where, okay, I guess I'll explain that here in a second. <laughs> you pitiful skewer sacrifices! I shall use the hellish flames at my disposal to turn you to... Turn you to ask... Turn you to ask? What? I think that meant ash? The hell? God. I should have put up a counter with, like, how many times I've been fine errors and and, and, uh, and like lines or, or misspellings and all this other stuff. Man, that's bad. Rubrukasan makes a shady grin and starts burning the meat. Despite his words, he actually he's actually cooking it to perfection. Mm. Yep. I wouldn't expect any less from you. That's the reason why you were called the Wizard of Barbecue Stone back in college. Warisan eats the meat, clearly impressed. The Wizard of Barbecue Stove, huh? Weird. I'm looking at how Aruka-san's working the meat, and that actually seems fitting. And yeah, cool! Alright, I will eat you too. Alright, just wait. It's hard to eat the meat straight from the skewer, and I don't want it to get burned by holding it wrong, so I just take the food off. Tatiana digs right in. It's good, really good. Bring me more meat. Covering her mouth with barbecue sauce, she asks for more meat. Wait, does she have, like, bunny slippers on? Or, well, they're, they're slippers, or they're, like, sandals with... with bunnies on them, I just know, so Tatiana. Anyway, you've left the pumpkins, uh, you left the pumpkin and onions, you gotta eat your veggies. While attending to her, I eat the food myself too. I skipped out a lunch, so the taste is just phenomenal. The meat, the veggies, the shrimp, everything's so great. <laughs> it really is. I had no idea Ruka had a talent for this. The sauce eating while also drinking beer. I lost count of how many cans she's had. Oh, she's gonna get wrecked later. Natsumi san seems to be enjoying this barbecue too. This isn't bad. Well, the one who skewered it? So I guess that's obvious. Uh, Natsumi san suddenly notices me looking at her. 
What? This is so weird. Do you see me eat barbecue? Yes, it is. No, that's not it. I'm just glad that you seem to be enjoying this. Quit saying weird stuff and just eat up. Here, I'll get it for you. Nasumi san gives me a new skewer. Oh, the one who skewer. No, I'm sorry. Oh, the one who skewer the meat. Hey, bear, enjoy it. Oh, all right. thank you. I'll just eat it up. As I eat what's on the skewer, you san start speaking to us. Huh? Rich Kira and Nachan are getting along now? Is it because they went shopping together? What? I can't ignore that. Tell me all about you two. Asana san clearly drunk walks up to us. Did something happen when you went? You did, didn't it? Go on, say it, you. There, there wasn't anything special, right, Natsumi san? Right. That part timer just got confused for being my stalker. Natsumi san, that was just a what if. <laughs> she remembers what happens and smiles. Well, she seems to be enjoying herself, so I won't push her anymore. Eh, I'm not sure I like this mood here. Sauce on sulks and drinks another can of beer. I don't know what, but something very irritated. I'll go get a drink. I didn't want drunk sauce on to get my uh, on my case, so I just make up a reason to get away from her. That's why I can't wear a warrior son. He's wearing his NWG. Whoa, this is quite. <laughs> What are you doing? Red Cube? You're my boy and you work hard, so let me share this view with you. Ooh, what is it? It's gotta be it's gotta be some ladies, right? He takes off the NWG and forces it on me. Whoa, wait! Or what? Just look at the girls now. Confused, I do what he says. I guess they're all in swimsuits. Yep. You are the brain melts. Unison's wearing a school swimsuit! I'll admit the school swimsuit, Japan school swimsuits are kind of cute. Uh, Natatiana is wearing a swimsuit too, but I don't hear much about it. I saw it at noon. I mean, it's cute, but done at the spot. Thank God. This is good, isn't it? Yep, it's the World Program AR. Wonderful, isn't it? I realize. <laughs> or it realize. I sound like I'm having an accent again. Weird. Huh? <laughs> of course, Sasa doesn't have a swimsuit on. He doesn't care about that. I look at Sasa, but she's just in her usual clothes. Warrior son, why isn't Sasa in a swimsuit? I just thought that making her wear a swimsuit would result in something saddening. So I didn't do any AR on her. <laughs> Thank God. I thought of turning on and grab your idle breast and the dummy date and applying it to her, but decided against it. It's my way of being considerate. Considerate? <laughs> now that's a weird kind of consideration. It doesn't change the fact that he's being rude. Now, look at Natsumi. She's also got quite a... The <laughs> war song grins. Uh, grins. If we were out on the streets and get confronted by police just for making that face, I could definitely expect something good. Also, this reminds me of the feeling I felt in my back when I was carrying Natsumi-san in front of the Vela Velas. Yep, I'm excited. I shift my gaze towards Natsumi-san. Hey, what are you looking at? Let me see. Dang it, Yuna-san. <sighs> Unlike last time, you saw an X fast. She quickly takes the NWG and puts it on. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is bad. A warrior son tries to turn off the world program on his laptop, he has, but he's too late. Wow! Not Chan and Tanya are wearing swimsuits! What? What do, you, what do you mean? What's going on? And so everyone finds out about warrior son's sexual harassment. I see, so scary and read you applied swimsuit textures to us. I can understand the perf. I didn't expect to look at something like that. I'm disappointed. Hey, I'm a man, aren't I? I'm not much of a man, but I'm a man. Ugh. Oh, you suck. Amari, you too, Reggie. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A saw sign! You weren't in a swimsuit! Eh, yeah, Weren't we all wearing swimsuits? All the girls besides you. I thought the results of putting you in a swimsuit would be saddening, so I decided against it. Huh? Wow. I clearly have bigger breasts than Tatiana. Not much bigger. It's because I'm sexy even if you were my breast. What a shame, Miss Lennon. Aren't you glad you weren't made to wear a swimsuit? Oh, I am, but I don't know how to feel about it. Unsatisfied, Asana turned sulky. Reggie, you wanted to see me in my swimsuit again. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like I really did seduce you. I'm gonna go blow my brains out now. Rit Tatiana, people will take that wrong. Natsumi san might even call the police. Please don't say that. I'll answer for you whenever you want. You just got to ask. I think I threw up on my mouth. She's acting arrogant, but she sounds happy. 
I don't want to get arrested, but I don't mind joining her at the pool. I didn't get to do that today. Everyone, the sacrifices are screaming. Uh, oh, all right. I can't forget to eat. True, I didn't want the meat to get skewered to get burned. Asana san and Sumi san start grabbing skewers. I'm thankful for the repeat for their scolding. The barbecue continues. Damn, we didn't get to see some Natsumi time. I don't care about her personality, but I don't, I don't mind getting a good look every once in a while. I grab a skewer and bring it in my mouth. Tsuchinka! Yuri san enters the roof's door. All smiles, Tatiana runs to him. Ah, Yuri. I had no idea you were coming to you came to Tokyo. I you right the other day before yesterday. The time he visited his office, Yuri was on the way to a scientific meeting to touch uh, Sukab, uh, Sukuba. I wanted to come here earlier, but sadly I had too much to work. I couldn't find the time. The day before yesterday, we were still having the New World experience. The door to the office was locked, so it's good they came now instead of then. I came to Tokyo, but didn't even know at the time to go sleep scene. Well, you're the uh, venerable vice president of the Northern Scientific Research Institute. Well, it makes sense for you to be pushed around. <laughs> you the venerable. You and I are friends. Oh, don't forget me, too. Rukasan interjects. How could I ever? Uh, hello, Umino. <laughs> My name is not Umino. Like I said before, I'm Ruka number two. Apparently he doesn't like the name Umino. He desperately corrects him. Ah, Ru oh, great, Ruka. Yuta Umino is your temporary name only for the prison's era. <laughs> so you fully understand. He nods in satisfaction. And it looks like your skills as the wizard of the barbecue stove have endured it all. The smell alone makes me remember those days. Yuri looks nostalgic. I guess Warisan wasn't joking about being Yuruka's nickname. <laughs> I'm ability to play various offerings is not only not only not dulled, it has even uh, evolved even further. It won't take too long to uh, become the art stage of the barbecue stove. Oh, so you will soon achieve your dearest wish. Congratulations! Congratulations! From what I can tell, Yuri has been dealing with the Ruka-san's world for so long that he knows exactly how to avoid it. It's very mature, and I feel like I've learned a thing or two. And he looks at Tatiana's eyes. Tachinko, did Ori or Reggie do anything perverted to you while I was away? It's fine. Sakai was as perverted as always. I see. Well, that's fine, I'd say. It's not interested in little girls. But what about Reggie? I knew I falsely assumed that he was about to have his way with you, but for now I know he might be making some mistakes now. That's only the only thing that bothered me during this meeting. The only? Shouldn't you be worried about other things? Why does the Vice President find me so dangerous? I was just taking care of Tatiana as her attendant. I didn't do anything I shouldn't have. However, depending on how she answers, I might get tackled again. A bit tense, I watched her exchange. What will have happen? Will Tatiana go into sexy pose mode and, screw and cause our deaths to become imminent? Find out next time in the next episode of Our World is Ended. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.